our stories at some point interconnect, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and so I would love to see this happening and, and for Chicago to have a, 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 a bigger presence and, and more collaboration. I think that collaboration is so key, um, especially, right? I think if, if anything has shown us now where we are at now, in this time, collaboration is key. So I would just like to say that. That's my two cents. Since I got it, I'm going to pass it back. But to me, um, we coming on the short end, but we need the short end. I, I see it as bridging the gap. I see it as generational wealth. I see it as transformation. I see it as full circle. We mm -hmm. like, man, and you know, I was but I caught everything and to understand and get firsthand from different people who maybe you never heard from or see the same thing and to feel the same thing. It's the same thing. And to feel the same emotion, the same passion is love. And to hear that history get passed down, this is what we need. We need talks like this so to tell the next generation, to tell the next generation, to tell the next generation. So we could keep this good spirit and this good vibe because this all this dance and all this music and all this 120 to 160 and all the body moments, we just sped up and maybe you slow down. And sometimes we slow down. It's all the one body language of peace. Yes, we exude what we don't want out of it, but it all represents one thing, and it's family, and that's what's up here right now. Yes, it's different generations, but we all got the same love, we all got the same passion. It's just, uh, you a little older than me, and I was there, but, <laughs> right, I was, ooh, ooh, and that's just exactly what it is. Yes. I said wise. <laughs> <laughs> My mama told me you better have to be like, hey, no. <laughs> but no, she. <laughs> Um, to piggyback, like I said, I feel very honored to be around so many legends and to just to be a part growing up, born and raised in Chicago, to be around all these cultures, um, just to see the people who are the forefront, who been here the longest. Like when he said the warehouse in out west, Chicago Full Work started from the west side of Chicago. Um, house, all that, and breaking, breaking one and two is like my favorite. So I always watched it on the show, but I'd never been around it personally until I met Bray, until I started going to Columbia, like going outside of my neighborhood. I took that risk to be like, you know what? I want to explore more than just what I do because I'm not just a food worker. I'm a dancer at the end of the day, and I love all genres of dance. So mm -hmm. I just really appreciate y'all from bopping. I, I'm a, I'll probably keep on saying it's stepping, but I'm gonna correct. I'm gonna keep yeah. correcting right. myself because I, new bop, old bop, stepping. Yes. But just to see that me growing up, seeing my parents do it, seeing my dad as a house head, my auntie a house head, um, watching karate movies, kung fu, martial arts movies. So like I said, I feel honored to even be a part. And it just let me know that I'm doing something very well that I can sit amongst all these people who came before me. So thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think for me, um, a couple things are coming up. Um, I'm thinking about belonging and a lot of times, you know, feeling like you don't belong in a certain circle or you don't belong somewhere. And it's like, if you look at all these people up here, everybody gave themselves permission to learn something new, to belong somewhere, um, to be curious. And so I just encourage everybody to continue to um, tap into that curiosity, continue to give yourself permission to belong anywhere um, because you'll see, as everyone said, you know, it was cross pollinization of, of all the forms. and. Folks really just gave themselves permission to learn new dances, to be in a space, and to bring it all together and express it through your own um, intuition. So that's a beautiful thing. I also just want to say, you know, this is so powerful right now. Um, thank you, Maida, for yes. real. Because very much so. You know, when you when you want to get when you want to know more, when you want to know more about our people and what they did and the movements that they were doing and the places where they were dancing, you can't find that stuff in libraries. They don't have, they got the trauma in the libraries. They don't have this. They, exactly. Yes. And so and they don't have it. It's not there. So it's up to us. It's up to us to 
to go to our elders, to go to our aunts and our uncles and ask them about their memories and record them and have folks like Maida to have spaces like this where we can come together and share memories that are important to us because you're not going to find them in these books, you know, unless we write them, unless we document them, unless we film them, unless we have these circles, you know, it, it's just, it, it doesn't exist. So um, I'm just grateful that this is happening. And um, like Brave said, I hope it continues and we continue to do this, you know, more and more because it's so important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, first of all, I don't want y'all to stop saying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that that wasn't where I was going with that. <laughs> we just want to be was, right. It was just a little information. <laughs> okay. But um so often in our community or, or in society at large, we hear about triggers, right? And the reality is all triggers aren't bad. And earlier during Diamond's talk, I got triggered, right? And she was talking about in this picture, this is who I was because I was doing it, right? And one of the things that happens in our communities often is that we suffer from the disease of I'm not good enough. And the reality is we've been taught that ideology of not being good enough or not fitting. And all of the stories here have talked about culture talked about feeling love, talked about feeling opportunities to express ourselves mm -hmm. in beautiful ways. <clears throat> the reality is our culture is culture. If you know anything about trends in America, or if you haven't heard, I'm going to tell you right quick. <laughs> Mainstream society's trends in America have been dictated all these years by eight-year-old black girls. This is true. You've been good enough when you didn't even know what you was talking about. This is true. And therefore, we have created, even as children, the culture that runs this country. Whether or not we get credit, or not, credit for it or not is not up to anybody else, it's up to us. Projects like this give us the space and the opportunity to speak to that truth. But more than anything else, we have to take the opportunity to make sure that we're instilling in each other and, this, and instilling in our children the reality, number one, that they're good enough and that those things that they see and believe and wonder about themselves are all true. That is their reality because it starts in the heads. And it's when we take control of that opportunity that unity happens. Unity happens in yourself. I, I don't like parades and all that other stuff. You ain't got to talk to me if I'm your neighbor. Wave just so I know you stay over here for real. <laughs> okay. But in, in your space, believe in that which you see of yourself because you are good enough and all of us are and our culture matters. Yes. Um, well, what everybody said, I'm just gonna say um, beautiful words and um, I, uh, I resonate with everything. I'll just um, add that, yeah, just, you know, what Maida's doing and the importance of this, um, something that really sort of sparked a fire in me was figuring out or finding out that um, New York had sort of put uh, this sort of cottage. They started teaching what they were doing in turn in the house spaces around the world, which is a beautiful, amazing thing. But it became this thing where it was like, that's all that anybody knew of the story of the movement associated with house. And a lot of times you hear people say, the music started in Chicago, but the dancing started in New York. And it was like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Um, but just being a part of this and hearing this, the lineage of movement and the richness of stories out of Chicago is so beautiful and so important. And um, so I'm just grateful to be here. And I, and I just really believe in this continuing. I just want to say, wow, because um, listen, we, we learn so much from each other just within this time frame. It's like, it's not enough time in a day because 
from learning about bopping. <laughs> and footwork like I'm always amazed like it hits home for me because my father always said you know when you watch a dancer watch their feet watch their feet that's that's where it hits so watching you footwork I was like that's what he's talking about you know <laughs> so that language speaks to me you know I may not be able to do it but my <laughs> look <laughs> look promise me that promise me that <laughs> okay give me a little full cat okay so <laughs> but you know what what's so amazing is that it's just a blessing that once upon a time black folks could not have a dance hall you know, they didn't have a dance space. So, you know, they had to find ways, you know, because we creative. <laughs> yes. We're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. We're going to celebrate. We're going to tell stories, whether it's on a ship, on the plantation, in the house, dance floor, theater. We're going to tell a story, and you're going to hear it, and you're going to hear it loud, okay? So... Take that story with you and make sure that you just put an exclamation mark on that. Yes. You know, it's a blessing to be here with everyone here because it's, this is a once in a lifetime. This is, this is in the moment, in real time. You know, we can go back and look at the video, you know, <laughs> but this moment and this emotion that you're feeling right now is real and hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Let me hurry up for my phone. Go <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you for having me here. It's been wonderful hearing all the wonderful stories, knowing that you can be uh, in the present and uh, dance your story. Mm -hmm. Definitely.